we need a CPU upgrade, guys. I'm hungry to see some performance gains, okay? I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I, I don't need it. I need it! I'm, I'm itching for some performance gains out of this year, and hopefully this 9800X3D is going to give it to us. My contacts at AMD told me that this is gonna be a banger CPU. And that's 100% legit. Trust everything I say. I have tons of contacts. I don't have any contacts. But yeah, let's get into it, guys. It's leaked that these reviews are dropping on November 6th, which is next Wednesday. And this is leaked by HXL on Twitter. And you know, reviews coming out November 6th, and then you can buy it November 7th, the next Thursday already, guys. And you know, if this is true, this has really been kept under wraps um, pretty well. Review coming out next Wednesday already, and then it's launching already. And guys, I like to see this, the review coming out before you can actually buy the product. Really cool of AMD to do that. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for everyone to be telling me in this video how much of an AMD fanboy I am when while I'm rocking the 13700K. And of course, Gigabyte gives us the details. They're always the first people to leak stuff. Um, and for that, I'm thankful, but man, they really gotta tighten up their, uh, all their stuff here um but here they came out with this performance turbo boost mode on their motherboards and we all know that how great those turbo boost modes that jack up the voltage and watts are good for your cpus you burn my house to the ground my family's dead what do i do just cross our fingers cross our fingers real tight and hope that um this turbo mode isn't going to blow up your pc and your cpu and burn your house down with this turbo mode, they're saying up to 5% gains on the 9800X3D. Now this is in one game. It's probably an average of about 3%. Um, but they also tested this turbo mode with the 7950X3D and it's all up to anywhere to like 16%. And then the 9950X, which is a little bit more interesting, in my opinion, because this CPU, you know, we didn't think it was as good at gaming, but up to 20% with on Far Cry 6. So really crazy results with that turbo mode um, and it looks like these AMD chips have a little bit more to give you can push them a little bit harder um, you know but they're still gonna be limited by that IO die stand by that just because you increase the clock frequency on these CPUs doesn't mean you're always gonna see a linear performance upgrade just because you're limited by latency and memory bandwidth within that IO die but it's still cool to see what they're doing here um, and don't worry don't you worry at all. We're gonna get into my predictions for the 9800X 3D and what I think it's going to perform, how much more performance we're gonna see in gaming. It's kind of weird to see, you know, we always see this particularly with AMD products. Like, let's see if I can just put some on the screen, but we always see this with AMD products. Like, they're just overhyped. All the AMD products are overhyped. Like, we're gonna see 50% more performance on the 9950X. I remember seeing stuff like that. We're gonna see just huge gains they have a title here, 35% faster than the 7800X 3D at 5.6 gigahertz all cores. Now that's a really fast frequency for an X3D chip. And you know, once you read this later, it, it turns out this is a multi-core score, of course, but even so, that is a big gain from eight core to eight core, 35%. Um, and it looks like it's matching about a 14, where is it? 14600K multi-core, which is no slouch, 25K on an eight core processor. I mean, you're getting to the point where you could rock this for gaming and make a case for content creation with that too. I think 25K will sort, you know, suit most people's needs there. But yeah, I just had to say something like that. I wanted to get my predictions out there before this thing came out, just because I wanted to lower your guys' expectations because these AMD fanboys always with these huge um, performance upgrades. It just makes everyone disappointed when it actually comes out. Not to say AMD doesn't come out with good products, but really the fanboys really just kind of ruin the launches for so many people because they just hype them up and they never really reach those heights. But yeah, something important to note is Thermal Grizzly leaked that there will be a 9950X 3D too. So there won't only be a 9800X 3D, there will be also a 16 core. And we don't know yet if that 16 core is gonna have both double cache dies on it. And if that was the case, that would be just a, that would be a Giga Chad CPU, I'm not gonna lie. That would be a really cool CPU. They could probably charge $800 for that. And I think a lot of people would still buy it. Um, that'd be a really cool product. 
And uh, something else that, you know, we probably should have talked about earlier is they're actually innovating with this 9800X3D. It's not just the same Zen 5 uh, CPU chiplet and then 3D cache on top. They're actually iterating on this X3D technology, which is what I like to see. AMD doesn't always do this when it comes to their products, but they're actually putting this 3D V cache below the chiplet die. So you have 3D V cache die, then chiplet die on top of that. And that actually makes it to where you can overclock this thing a lot faster. We, you probably noticed uh, 5.6 gigahertz all core. Um, 7800X 3D didn't do that. In fact, I think it was locked down. You couldn't overclock it. I think the max it got was uh, five gigahertz. So let's talk about my performance numbers for this. The 9800X 3D, here we go. 9800X 3D, uh, if it, you know, that 7800X 3D had a five gigahertz turbo and then now we're getting 5.2, I think this is stock, right? I don't know for sure, if, you know, if all that's accurate because, you know, this is a leak, but that's 4% more in clock speed stock to stock. Hey, it's not bad, but apparently the rumor mill says this chip is actually going to be unlocked for overclocking, fully unlocked. If you want to blow this chip up to kingdom come, uh go ahead you know you know it's still probably gonna use like half the power of like intel cpu but hey um 5.6 so you know what if we just play devil's advocate here and say we really can get 5.6 gigahertz all core well that's plus 12 percent in clocks frequency now something i've noticed when i've been playing around with ryzen chips is you don't always get a linear increase from clock speed uh to performance in gaming with Intel CPUs, I noticed that, you know, if I increase clock speed by 5%, usually I get 5% more performance. With AMD CPUs, I didn't necessarily notice that in my experience, especially in gaming. However, since this is a 3D vCache architecture, you know, keeping all the data within the cores there, this could linearly scale. It could. And, you know, that leaves me also to say, well, what about IPC? Okay. What about IPC? Because... Earlier in my my earlier videos about Ryzen 9000, I was saying how bad Ryzen 9000 is, especially for gamers. It's not an increase at all. Well, now Arrow Lakes came out and we saw that, you know, next to that, Ryzen 9000 doesn't even look that bad, which is crazy to say. Um, but yeah, Arrow Lake, it was just doo-doo, man. It, Arrow Lake was garbage. It was, it was, but whatever. In that video, I said, I think Ryzen 9000 X3D is actually going to utilize this IPC uplift. It actually is going to be realized because we're going to fully utilize those cores with the cache and skip going to the I to O die so much. So, you know, I think that uh, we could get realized 10%, even this full 16% IPC. So if we get 5.6 gigahertz OC all core, which, hey, you know, may not happen. And we get... Um, 16% IPC or no, I think if just at stock, if we just get the 4% clock speed increase and the IPC, this is going to be 20% more performance. If we, you know, this is a given 4% more clock speed, you know, sure. 4% more performance, um, you know, but then like IPC, if those stack 20% more performance guys, that will blow Arrow Lake out of the water. We're talking, at this point, in some games, 40% faster than the 285K um, when it's bottom fragging. You know, in some games, it bottom frags. In some games, it hits like 12, 600K performance. Now, will Windows iron out that? You know, will this be fixed in a Windows patch? Maybe. But in my opinion, it's up to Intel and not Microsoft to make sure their CPU works in Windows. Just like, same thing for AMD. When Ryzen 9000 came out and it didn't work, it wasn't Microsoft's fault. Many of you may get, you know, upset with that because it was their software causing issues with AMD. It's AMD's job to go to Microsoft before their product launches, test it, you know, thoroughly, make sure everything's working and contact them if it's not working before their product comes out. Obviously, they didn't test their product too much because there was all kinds of problems when it came out. Same for Arrow Lake. These guys, they really have to test these products more and they have to make sure they work perfectly day one or no one's going to buy them. That's my little rant on that. But yeah, so 
up to 20% if we get that base clock speed increase and IPC linearly stacks. Now, I'm not saying this is realistic, but this is like, you know, God mode, like best case scenario kind of. But what if, you know, the IPC is useless in gaming, just like it was for um, Zen 5, regular Zen 5? Well, we're probably only gonna see three to 5% uplift. And that's just based off clock speed. Like nothing really more than that. Three to 5% uplift on the 9800X 3D to the 7800X 3D. And you're noticing here that I'm giving you options, okay? I'm letting the viewer decide what is the right choice? What is this performance going to be? Because I want you to think, right? I don't want to just tell you numbers and say, I have all these sources and for you just to believe me. But hey, I do have contacts at AMD. Just look at my Ryzen 4070 video. They sent me that and hey, I'm still rocking it. I'm not gonna have to upgrade for like a thousand years with that thing. But yeah, I just want you to think for yourself a little bit. Don't take everything I have um, for granted. And don't, I mean, don't take everything I have at face value. But um, yeah, lastly, turbo mode. I think if we had turbo mode and then we had minimal IPC like realization, we'd probably get like 10 to 12%. You know, if that clock speed scales and the IPC is just not working for us in gaming, 10 to 12% in gaming. Now, <laughs> I didn't write this here. I meant to, but I didn't. What if we got that 16% IPC uplift and it was realized and this 5.6 gigahertz OC. Now, let me just do the math right quick. What would that look like? Woo. So we're looking like 35 to 40% more performance in gaming if both those things stack. I'm calling it now. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, there might be like one game where that happened. Probably not even one game, honestly. But on average, what are my thoughts on Ryzen 9000? You know, the 9800X 3D. It's coming out in a week. So I'm just putting my reputation on the line here. Um, which, you know, I, this is just based on what I think, guys. If I'm wrong, who cares? Like, I actually, if you go back and look at my Arrow Lake video, I think I was kind of spot on for my predictions for Arrow Lake, which... I was like really excited for Arrow Lake, but like when I was doing the math, I was like, oh man, this, <laughs> this thing is going to be like 0% faster, uh, you know, well, actually I said like multi-core probably wasn't going to be any faster than gaming, maybe 10% because I thought the IPC and all that. Um, but yeah, when I, when I was talking about Arrow Lake, it actually wasn't too far off. I was like really excited about Arrow Lake. And then um, when I was doing the math, I was like, this ain't going to be too good. And it, it didn't turn out to be really good, but that's just what I'm doing here. My thoughts, and I've been saying this on the channel, I think the 9800X 3D will be around 10% faster than the 7800X 3D. And, you know, seeing that it can clock higher, and I, I'm kind of more confident in this, it's probably going to, some games, it'll probably only be 3 4% faster, but I bet there will be cases where it's up to 10% faster, and maybe even 15% faster, and we see that fully realized IPC. But, hey, that's just my thoughts. Um, we'll see in a week, I guess the 9800X 3D is about to come out. What do you guys think? Did I, you know, um, what do you think based on my math? Do you think that the 9800X 3D is going to be 40% faster? Um, or if you're a real AMD fanboy, it's just going to be three, four, five times as fast. Or is it just going to be another 5% garbage? And we're just going to be, this is going to be the worst year for PC gaming upgrades ever. I mean, 2024 has just been, it's been bad. It's been rough. And we haven't really got too many good upgrades, guys. And I guess, you know, you could be looking at that in the positive light, like, hey, the stuff I still own is working fine and all that. But I don't know. I don't really like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, yeah, also drop in the comments what you think this thing's going to cost. I think it's going to cost probably $500. Um, just seeing the prices of the 7800X 3D right now and how much in demand this thing's going to be. It's probably going to be about 500 bucks. But yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot to say. This channel is doing relatively well, guys, and I basically just wanted to say that thank you for supporting me. Thank you for listening to me ramble and talk just about PC hardware. And um, I've hit my I've hit my watch time hours goal to be monetized. And all I need now is a thousand subscribers. I just need one thousand subscribers, and this channel will be fully monetized. I'll have watch page ads, and uh, you can just support me basically just by watching my videos at that point. But yeah, so I'm just asking you, if you made it this far in the video, you you probably like talk, hearing me talk. You probably like listening to PC hardware. And, you know, there's just more to come on this channel. So uh, I 
just subscribe, just subscribe, help me out. And I will be fully monetized once I hit a thousand subscribers. And from a thousand, we're going to go to 2000, 3000, 10,000, maybe even a hundred thousand. And, uh, I want to appreciate you guys for just, you know, subscribing, listening to me talk. And yeah, just, that's all I wanted to say. Silicon steak out. Silicon steak, the master of tech. Ever review every spec he's on deck from GPUs to CPUs. He knows it all. No question too big, no detail too small. He's got the knowledge, he's got the skill.